Decades ago, he was known as the preppy killer, a 19-year-old who frequented the famous Studio 54. That was until he was sent to prison for the brutal murder of a teenager. Earlier this week, Robert Chambers walked out of a prison upstate, and Stephanie Bertini joins us from the newsroom right now with more on his parole. Stephanie. Arthur, that teenager was 18-year-old Jennifer Levin, and the case made local, national, and international headlines. After serving his time, Chambers came out only to end up back behind bars on different charges. He was released earlier this week. It's not clear where he is right now, but we're taking a look back. He served 15 years in prison after admitting to killing 18-year-old Jennifer Levin in Central Park. She was just weeks away from starting college when she was found strangled to death on August 26, 1986. Her friend, 19-year-old Robert Chambers, was arrested right after. The preppy death in Central Park, Jennifer Levin strangled. The trial froze New York. Robert Chambers went to jail. Dubbed the preppy killer by the media as the high-profile murder case played out, Chambers claimed he killed Levin accidentally while protecting himself during rough sex. This is a piece of a videotaped statement to police. She's sitting on my chest, leaning forward, and I just leaned up and grabbed her like this from around the neck, and I just yanked her. The rough sex defense challenged by the evidence presented by prosecutors was enough to prevent the jury from reaching a verdict in the murder trial, but Chambers accepted a plea deal of 5 to 15 years. Just days later, Fox exclusively obtained this video. My name is <laughs> As part of the deal, Chambers pleaded guilty to the less severe charge of manslaughter. During his sentencing in 1988, he apologized for killing the young woman. The Levin family have gone through hell because of my actions, and I am sorry. After doing his time for Levin's death, he came out in 2003, only to end up behind bars again in 2008 on drug charges. He was given a 19-year maximum sentence for running a cocaine and heroin operation, but released earlier this week after serving 15 years of that sentence. Despite his early release, Chambers will remain on parole until 2028. Arthur, back to you. Thanks so much, Stephanie.